Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be installing this wig from AF Sister Wigs. This is a highlight curly wig. I have 24 inches and the hair density is 150% and this is a 6x6 closure wig. I did bleach the knots off camera and now I'm going in and I'm plucking the hair. I'm making sure to remove the part that is pre-plucked and then I'm just going in sections and plucking it until I'm satisfied I did not do a lot of plucking that is the great thing about six by six closures is you can get the frontal look without all the frontal work so now it's time to apply the wig I um, did bleach the knots on this and all I did after that was co-wash it with this moisture boost conditioner by Pantene I used this on my real hair I didn't have like the argan oil that everybody uses on curly hair I didn't have time to run and get it so I just used this because it has argan oil in it and I really like how it made the curls pop like I really think it did a really good job I didn't use any shampoo I just co-washed it with this and it worked pretty good so this is a 6x6 closure. I'm just going to do the lazy way of applying this. Um, I have my wig cap on. I'm not doing the ball cap method. I hate the ball cap method. It's so annoying. It does make for a good install, but it was just way too much work for me. So I'm not doing that. I'm going to do a lazy install. Right now, I'm just going to tighten up the straps in the back of this wig put some foundation on the cap and on the lace of the wig this is the ruby kisses 3d face creator foundation and this is the shade 10. so i'm just going to put it where the part will be And I did over bleach the knots a little bit, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm gonna go in and cover that up with some mascara. So let's work on getting this wig on. I do is flatten up the top of this wig. I'm going to take my hot comb and this wax to make sure it's super flat. And then I'm going to do my install using the Got To Be Blue spray. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now.
This is how the hair is looking right now. I'm gonna come back once the hair has completely dried. You guys saw I put the Nairobi um, styling foam on it. The front is looking pretty decent. If you guys do this method with the got to be glue spray, you're gonna want to spray the hair to get it loosened up in the front after um, after it has dried. If you wanna do like baby hairs, you're gonna have to spray it with some water to loosen that up. Um, now I have to fix my baby hair, but I'm gonna come back after this hair completely dries to show you what it looks like when it is dry and not damp. So this is giving me very much Beyonce. I can't wait to see how it looks once it all dries. The front was a little puffy because I had blow dried it out a little bit too much, but you could clearly see like the curls popping in the back where I had not blow dried it so much. So I can't wait to see how it looks once it dries up a little more. And I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final look. So these are the curls, almost completely dry. I'd say about 95% of the way. As you can see, it's big, it's fluffy. The curls are just so defined and gorgeous and all I did was use the Nairobi foam on them that's it um so yeah this is the hair so I love this hair from AF sister it's definitely giving me Beyonce if you want that Beyonce look this is the wig for you so definitely check this wig out all the information will be down in the description box make sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video